As you know, this is the birthplace of many epic films, many of them depicting a vision of the future. We're here tonight to experience that future that is closer than you think. And who better than Elon, right, to show us that future? So when we think about transport today, there's a lot of kind of pain that we take for granted that we think is normal. Um, like having to <laughs> drive around LA uh, in like three hours of traffic. Um, yeah, and for people that live in LA, I mean, you know, try to get from uh, Pasadena to, you know, El Segundo during rush hour is like, you can fly to, you know, another city faster than you can get to cross town LA. So, and you have to drive the whole way. Uh, unless you're in a Tesla, of course. Our Tesla already uh, does quite well at this, uh, you know, supervised self-driving. So supervised full self-driving full self is actually working quite well. For, I'm sure there's people in the crowd, you, you're using that, uh, yeah? So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to uns unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. So, uh, but there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. It, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, and, and it's not just the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess, on their phones <laughs> or, or, or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the, the car in the autonomous world as being like, just a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So, so in, in fact, we, we, I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, price including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. And I think there'll be an interesting um, you know, business model where, like, let's say somebody is an uh, you know, Uber or Lyft driver today, uh, it, they, where they can actually sort of manage a fleet of cars and like a sort of manage, I don't know, 10, 20 cars and just sort of you know, take care of them like a, like a shepherd uh, tends their flock. You have a little your flock of cars, and you're the shepherd, and you take care of your flock of cars. I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, we're trying to give you a sense of what, are, what cities will be like in the future, 
And uh, when, you, when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. You know, we have enough vehicles here, so everyone should be able to, to try it out and uh, experience the this, this set that we've built here. Um, it's a very big set, so it's like really, we've, we've used, several, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 acres or something like that. It's really big. So it's, it goes on, it, the ride's long. <laughs> something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So, yeah. It's kind of how it should be. So like, that would be quite fantastic. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Reboven. The Reboven is, uh, this is a, we're, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That would be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city, uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is going <laughs> to... The Reboven is what's going to solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere, or um, you're looking to, to really uh, get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Reboven. Some people call it the Robovan, but... Uh... <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that we, we want to do, and you've seen this with the Cybertruck, is we want to change the, the look of the roads. You know, the future should look like the future. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Because I think everyone of the eight billion people of Earth, I think everyone's gonna want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. Uh, and then they'll be, they'll be producing products and services. I, I predict, actually, provided we address risks of digital superintelligence, 80% uh, will, 80% probab probability of good, a good outcome. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Um, the cup is 80% full. Um, the, uh, the cost of products and services will decline dramatically, and basically anyone will be able to have any products and services they, they want. It will be an age of abundance, the likes of which people have not, almost no one has envisioned. It'll be something special. Holy crap, my head is spinning. Here's me thinking a couple of products will be unveiled. Meanwhile, Tesla's gone absolutely ballistic developed an entire studio on site at Warner Brothers, a next-gen vehicle, a dedicated robo-taxi with no steering wheel and pedals. We knew this was coming. Oh, and surprise, a van. Oh, wait, I called that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm patting myself on the back. I don't make these predictions for nothing, but this is a massive moment for Tesla, completely transforming their business from what people saw as a car company now to an AI slash transport as a service company, never mind the humanoid robot, which, holy shit, bro, did anyone expect to be walking among optimate? Like, what? They're interacting with the crowd. They're out and about in the crowd. Very seriously. There's a fucking Optimus robot serving drinks at this Tesla event. Rest in peace, bartenders. Now, I mean, until they come in double Ds, maybe there'll be some place for some bartenders in some situations. But shit, dude. And by the way, the balls of Tesla to be confident enough in the capabilities of their humanoid robot to be willing 
to allow it to serve drinks at this Tesla event. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit slow, but holy shit, dude, the rate of progress. Unbelievable. And man, on screen now, that Tesla van. Oh, rest in peace, public transport. In short, excuse the fucking French, but holy fucking shit. Jesus, dude. Now, many more thoughts coming in subsequent videos, but just wanted to share these highlights for people who missed the event or just wanted some of the key moments. This is a real fork in the road for Tesla. The company will never be the same again. Wow. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. Just got my AG1 in the mail, legit feeling the effects after day three. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. This viewer after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more. Yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more. Don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect. But even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.